The following report contains flash photography. As the polls closed, Moscow was nervous. A small army of policemen and trucks surrounded the Kremlin as the city waited for the final results of the election to choose a new mayor. An election which has seen a direct challenge to President Putin's stranglehold on politics. The man who led the challenge was Alexei Navalny, the candidate who emerged from the anti-Putin, anti-corruption street protests last year and whose opinion poll ratings have risen throughout a campaign starring his young family. By contrast, Vladimir Putin's man, the current mayor, Sergei Sobyanin, with important state-controlled TV channels in the city behind him, has barely bothered to campaign. Early official results suggested he had just scraped through on the first round. But Alexei Navalny immediately disputed that, which means the election is heading for a tense finish. We're not going to give up any of the votes we got, Alexei Navalny told reporters, and I'd like to say again to the Kremlin and the Moscow mayor, don't fix the result, let the election go to a second round. This is the day that Alexei Navalny went from being a street politician to a conventional politician in Russia's very unconventional politics. He did it by doing something few politicians do now in Russia, going out to talk to voters in the places where they live. Deprived of access to the TV airwaves, he's had to shake hands, write autographs and inspire Moscow's disillusioned young middle class using the internet. His opinion poll ratings have built steadily. A rookie politician with no organization behind him, he was never going to win the first round, but he's done better than all the predictions. And seven and a half weeks ago, he was on his way to prison for embezzlement after what he claimed was a political trial before he was freed pending his appeal. Although this was an election to choose the mayor of Moscow, it is President Putin who will have to deal with the fallout. Everyone knows this was a challenge to his rule, and any false steps could bring angry Muscovites back out onto the streets. Daniel Sanford, BBC News, Moscow.